Kumusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover on Filipino TV. My name is PJ. Joining me are my favorite hosts, Marky Mark with the scarf. And we got JR in the Jordan brand. Jordan. Team Jordan. All right. Team so, Jordan. So, man, Under I'm armor. so excited. If you haven't noticed, there are some new additions to the, you know, the set. We got the Toronto Raptor basketball. And we also have the Toronto Raptor plushie. Each was won at you know, Canada's Wonderland. <laughs> Shout out to UFT alumni. Yeah, yeah. Program for that. But that, that didn't come just because we bought it. We actually had to win that. We had to shoot shoot hoops, obviously. And oh. because we're from Pinoy Crossover, we got skills. We made the, we made the shots and we got the prizes. So. What was your field goal percentage? I didn't, I didn't take <laughs> that down. One out of two. I remember I only shot twice. I didn't take that down. I'm 50%. <laughs> let's, just, let's just dive into the rundown. Jared, what do you have for us? Okay, so by the time you guys watch our episode, um, you've probably seen the first game, second game of the NBA Finals. But here's a question for you guys. Which matchup are you guys m- most looking forward to? Is it LeBron James versus Kevin Durant, just like when he faced him, faced him in OKC and Miami? Or is it Kyrie Irving and Stephen Curry? Or is it Kevin Love and Draymond Green? There's some few options, but there's probably more matchups. But what kind of matchup do you guys are looking forward in that series? Well, I'm personally looking forward to Kyrie and Curry. Really? I I feel like, well, just watching Kyrie on his own, he's like a magician with the basketball. So just seeing how Kyrie and Curry can match up in terms of like play, because Curry does ridiculous stuff as well. It's true. So it's about, um, I don't know. You could argue that. Could he be the best one-on-one point guard right now if you play in one-on-one, or is it Westbrook? If mm-hmm. you would, if you want to take one of them, Westbrook or Kyrie, that one-on-one kind of game. Ooh, yeah, that's hard. That's a, that's a good question. Don't don't bring it up, though. That's, that's the whole <laughs> okay, other let's conversation. Stick it, okay, let's okay. But let's, Kyrie, if we stick with Kyrie, Kyrie and Curry. Curry I'm gonna I go take Kyrie. Kyrie. I'll take Kyrie. Exactly. I take Kyrie. Mark, what do you think? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's hard to take a player a player matchup like that, knowing that when they actually play. On the other end, no one is not even guarding the other. Like when you watch the game, it's not even that Kyrie is gonna guard Curry the whole way through. He's mostly gonna be guarding uh, probably Clay because Curry is a much better player with the ball and off the ball. So you're probably gonna see more of J.R. Smith or like Shumpert on Curry, and it's gonna be the same on the other way around with Kyrie. It's gonna be mostly Clay that's gonna be chasing him around because. Curry can be left off with J.R. Smith or Shumpert on the other end, right? What mm-hmm. I want to see is the the best player in the world versus the second best player in the world. That match Arguably between, the second best player in the world. Who else can be Arguably. as good as... Kawhi Leonard. N- no, this whole <laughs> postseason has been... Durant oh. has been better. Okay. And, and, just, and he's been better defensively. And I just wanted to see the fact that, hey, you got the person that came back to Cleveland to redeem them. And you got this person that, hey, was knocked off 3-1. Against the against the Golden State Warriors and decided, hey, I want to be there, right? This is Durant's redemption kind of in a sense to prove everyone wrong that hey, my decision was for the best of me, and I'm proving everyone wrong that this was the best decision I made. And so far, it is there, right? This is what he decided to do. And this is what the Golden State promised to him that if you if you decide to play with us, you're going to be going straight to the finals. And here it is, Golden State deliver what they promised. This is what lured him into play. And now he's got to deliver in the finals. So this this is something for him to prove that hey, I'm worth being you know I'm worth signing to to play for or I'm worth signing as a player. And you got LeBron, who's you know he might argue be chasing a ghost like he's saying, but he's got he's the best player right now during throughout the postseason. Mm-hmm. And he's for him to lose that kind of title to Durant. That's kind of how I see it. Yeah, that leads to my other question: like who, yeah. which person, player, or even just the teams, which is uh, which person is more, has more to lose in this series? Is it LeBron or Kevin Durant? Because in my opinion, uh, you, well, you could, it's a toss-up. LeBron, LeBron, he already won so many rings, uh, three rings, two rings, um, and he's about to probably eventually win an, another one. And then there's Kevin Durant, who lost to Golden State in 2015 and now joined to, joined their team. And now he's in the finals. I, f- I feel like it's he has pressure on him to prove it to himself and to the world that he doesn't care about what everyone says. He just wants to win the ring. He wants to stay stick with Golden State because Golden State is a better team than OKC back then. They passed more, the ball more, and that's why he he likes. That's why he joined the team. Mm-hmm. I think I think you brought up a great point, saying that Durant kind of you know he made a decision and. 
he won the Golden State promised him to the finals and now it's him up to him to either you know showcase whether it was a good decision or not yeah. so this is kind of like this lot, is kind of a lot to lose this is his job this is kind of Golden State kind of said hey the, here you are we're going to promise you the same kind of result that we promised finals but at this point what are you going to bring in terms of what are you going to be on the table what this is what we signed you for and show us what you can do to help us get another ring another title to I feel team. like it's respect is on the line and thing yeah, is like respect. Kevin Durant hasn't played in the NBA finals since 2012 when he played for OKC versus mm -hmm. Miami Heat so I mean there's a lot of factors I can't wait to watch the series uh, hopefully you guys are watching it already mm -hmm. I feel like at the end of the day too it's it's not um, so much of what whose players got to lose it because at, at this point LeBron has got nothing to prove anymore. He's got three championships in his belt right now. He's won MVP multiple times. He's done everything he could. He redeemed himself for the uh, city of Cleveland. He's got nothing to prove right now. But I would, I would argue that, about that because in his interview, he kind of seems extremely focused and he wants to go back to back. He, like wants, to, he wants to get more he's just for his city. He's focused on greatness. He's of focused course. on legacy. So I feel like... He, he does have something like he does have this motivation and I feel like it's gonna be a clash and it's gonna be just a great series so. and he's been more mature and and, and I'm in a sense too uh, he's found a way to turn this around too he's found a way to turn it around in terms of he's basically said that Golden State are a much better team he even said it in, in, in an interview saying that uh, when they asked him about the next matchup, which is when they won uh, the Eastern Conference Finals. So mm -hmm. I don't even want to think about the Golden State right now because I'm, I just want to celebrate this. I just want to enjoy this. I don't want to be stressed. Mm -hmm. He's basically has turned this around against saying that Golden State are a much tougher team and it's going to be stressed out to play against them. So they, he has basically turned the media against him saying, we're the underdogs. And that's kind of how they've been played. They, how, that's how they made it through last year. They were the underdogs last year. They were down 3-1 and they made it through. And I think that's how um, that's how they play. They play well against adversity and against and being said that you're not as good as the actual other team, which is they they he's played the cards right right now. 